Deep in the rivers of South America, a world teeming with life and mystery, lies a creature that defies expectations. Among the myriad of fish that call these waters home, one swims with a secret that sets it apart from the rest. This is no ordinary fish. This is the Paku fish, a relative of the infamous piranha, yet with a twist that makes it truly unique. Unlike the razor-sharp teeth of its carnivorous cousin, the Paku boasts a set of teeth that would make you think twice about going for a swim. These teeth aren't for tearing flesh like the piranhas. Instead, they are designed for a very different purpose. They are strangely human-like, squarish, and blunt, almost resembling a set of dentures. This peculiar dental structure allows the Paku to crush seeds and nuts that fall into the water, making it an omnivore with a diverse diet. Imagine seeing that on your fishing line. The sight of those human-like teeth can be quite startling. It's enough to make even the most experienced angler jump back in surprise. The Paku's appearance is a stark reminder of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life in the Amazon. The Paku is a fish full of surprises. Its unique dental structure is just one of the many adaptations that have allowed it to thrive in its environment. Its unique appearance is just the beginning of a fascinating story. The Paku plays a crucial role in its ecosystem, helping to disperse seeds and maintain the health of the riverine environment. Get ready to dive into the world of this toothy oddball. As we explore the depths of the Amazon, we'll uncover more about the Paku's habits, its role in the ecosystem, and the surprising ways it interacts with its environment. Join us on this journey to discover the secrets of the Paku fish, a true marvel of nature. So, how can a fish have teeth that look like they belong in a human mouth? The answer lies in family ties. Paku and piranhas are related. They are cousins in the fish family. They belong to the same family, Sarasalmidi. This family is known for its sharp teeth and powerful jaws. But don't worry, the Paku isn't interested in biting off your finger. While piranhas use their razor-sharp teeth to hunt, the Paku has evolved differently. Its teeth are designed for a different purpose, a more peaceful one. Don't let the teeth fool you. The Paku fish is not a carnivore like its piranha cousin. In fact, it's mostly a vegetarian. They much prefer a meal of fruits and seeds. Their strong teeth are perfect for cracking open hard nuts and seeds found in the water. They play a vital role in seed dispersal, helping the rainforest flourish. So this toothy terror is actually a gentle giant of the river, playing a vital role in its ecosystem. The Paku's unusual teeth have sparked many myths and legends. In some parts of the world it's called the testicle-eating fish. This exaggerated claim originates from rumors of the fish biting swimmers. While Paku will investigate anything that falls into the water including humans, they are not aggressive. These stories are more myth than reality, fueled by their strange appearance. It's important to remember that every fish has its role to play, even if it looks a bit odd. Section 5 Paku in the pecking order. In the Amazon River, the Paku fish is an important part of the food chain. This freshwater fish, often overshadowed by its more famous relatives like the piranha, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the river ecosystem. The Paku is known for its unique teeth, which resemble those of humans, and its diet primarily consists of fruits, nuts, and small aquatic organisms. This diet helps in the dispersal of seeds, contributing to the health of the riverine forest. It's not the biggest predator, but it's far from helpless. The Paku has developed several adaptations to survive in the competitive and often dangerous waters of the Amazon. Its strong jaws can crack open hard shells, allowing it to access food sources that other fish might find challenging. Additionally, the Paku's keen sense of smell helps it locate food in the murky waters. Larger fish like caiman and river dolphins see the Paku as a tasty snack, these predators are always on the lookout for a meal, and the Paku must constantly be vigilant. The Amazon River is a dynamic environment where the roles of predator and prey can shift rapidly. The presence of these larger predators keeps the Paku population in check, ensuring that they do not overconsume the vegetation and disrupt the ecosystem. Their powerful tails help them dart away from danger. The Paku's tail is not just for show, it's a vital tool for survival. With a swift flick, the Paku can accelerate quickly, making it difficult for predators to catch them. This agility is especially important in the dense underwater vegetation where quick maneuvers can mean the difference between life and death. They are also masters of camouflage, blending in with the riverbed. 
The Paku's coloration allows it to blend seamlessly with the riverbed providing an additional layer of protection. This camouflage is particularly effective in the murky waters of the Amazon, where visibility is often low. By staying close to the riverbed and remaining still, the Paku can avoid detection by predators. The Paku's life is a balancing act, navigating a world of predators and prey. Every day, the Paku must make decisions that affect its survival. Whether it's choosing when to feed, where to hide or how to escape a predator, the Paku's actions are a constant dance of risk and reward. This delicate balance is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the species. It's a reminder that every creature plays a vital role in the delicate web of life. The Paku, with its unique adaptations and behaviors, is a key player in the Amazon River ecosystem. Its interactions with other species, both as predator and prey, highlight the interconnectedness of all life forms. By understanding and appreciating the role of the Paku, we gain a deeper insight into the complexity and beauty of nature. Section 6. Swimming Too Far From Home The Paku fish is native to the Amazon basin, however, in recent years it has been found in some very unexpected places. They have been caught in rivers and lakes as far away as Europe and North America. How did they get there? The answer is most likely human intervention. Some people keep Paku as pets. Unfortunately some are released into the wild when they get too big for their tanks. This might seem harmless, but it can have serious consequences. Section 7. The Trouble with Teeth. Introducing a new species to a different environment can upset the balance. This is the problem with Paku fish ending up in non-native waters. They can outcompete native fish for food and resources. In some cases they can even become invasive, disrupting the entire ecosystem. The Paku's story is a reminder that even well-intentioned actions can have unintended consequences. Section 8. Respecting the Balance. The Paku fish, with its strange teeth and surprising diet, teaches us an important lesson. It reminds us that even the most unusual creatures have a role to play in the balance of nature. Understanding and respecting these roles is crucial for preserving the biodiversity of our planet. It's about appreciating the interconnectedness of all living things, from the smallest fish to the largest predator. Section 9. An Unforgettable Encounter I've encountered many fascinating creatures in my time, each with its own unique charm and mystery. From the majestic flight of an eagle to the stealthy movements of a jaguar, nature never ceases to amaze me. But among all these encounters one stands out vividly in my memory. The Paku fish with its distinctive appearance holds a special place in my heart. This freshwater fish native to South America is often mistaken for its cousin, the piranha. However, the Paku has a unique feature that sets it apart. Its human-like teeth are certainly a sight to behold. Unlike the sharp pointed teeth of the piranha, the Paku's teeth are flat and resemble those of humans. This adaptation allows it to crush seeds and nuts, which are a significant part of its diet. But beyond the initial shock of seeing such teeth on a fish, there's a deeper story. The Paku's teeth are a testament to the incredible adaptability of nature. It's a reminder that evolution works in mysterious ways, often leading to surprising results. The natural world is full of surprises, each more astonishing than the last. From the tiniest insects to the largest mammals, every creature has evolved in its own unique way to survive and thrive in its environment. It's a world where appearances can be deceiving, where what you see is not always what you get. Many animals have developed incredible camouflage techniques, blending seamlessly into their surroundings to avoid predators or to catch their prey, and where every creature has a story to tell. These stories are often filled with wonder, resilience, and the sheer will to survive. As a wildlife photographer and documentarian I've had the privilege of capturing some of these stories, and each one is a testament to the beauty and complexity of life on Earth. So next time you hear about a strange creature like the Paku fish, take a moment to delve deeper. There's often more than meets the eye. Behind every unusual feature or behavior lies a fascinating story of adaptation and survival. Remember that nature is a vast, intricate web of life where every thread is connected. Each species, no matter how strange or familiar, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Take the time to learn about its story, to understand its place in the world. By doing so, we not only gain a deeper appreciation for the natural world, but also recognize the importance of preserving it for future generations. And you might be surprised by what you discover, 
The world is full of wonders waiting to be explored and each discovery brings us closer to understanding the incredible tapestry of life that surrounds us.